What's going on guys, Jerry Neutron here, and today I've got a brand new SATA based SSD to take a look at. This is the HyperX Savage, a performance oriented drive and successor to HyperX's 3K SSD. It's available in 120, 240, 480, and 960 GB versions and can be purchased as a bare drive, which is what I have here, or with an upgrade kit, which comes with most notably a two and a half inch USB 3.0 enclosure. Both versions do include a Cronus cloning software, so migrating from another drive is pretty simple, assuming you're moving to an equal or larger size drive. Now, if you're migrating from say a large hard drive to a smaller SSD, then there's a little bit more work involved. Now, the first thing I notice when holding this drive in my hand is the amazing red casing showing off the HyperX logo. I know not everyone will care, but this is seriously a good looking drive. This would look really good in something like an H440 where you have the SSDs on display. Internally, this drive has a Fizen S10 controller, 256 megabytes of cache, and Toshiba 19 nanometer NAND flash. If that doesn't mean anything to you, basically all you need to know is that translates into pretty good performance, and due to the controller, you shouldn't experience the performance issues that plague the 840 EVO late in its life cycle. Now HyperX claims sequential read-write speeds of 560 and 530 megabytes per second, with read-write IOPS of 189K. So let's get this thing installed and see how it performs. Oh, and <laughs> don't laugh at my cable management. By the time this video is out, that will have been updated. So with the drive installed, I fired up AS, SSD, and Crystal Disk Mark and ran some tests. I did this with the OS installed on the drive and at about 60% full to simulate more real world results. This was also done connected to an FM2 motherboard, so if you're on the Intel platform, your results may be slightly better. The two benchmarks aren't directly comparable, but this will give you an idea of how it performs in different scenarios. Overall, it's a pretty solid performing drive. I would like to see better 4K results across the board, but other than that, there's really not much to complain about. If you want a good looking SSD that performs well, this is it. It's not the fastest SATA based drive available, but one could argue whether you would see a difference in real world scenarios anyway. The biggest issue I see with the HyperX Savage is the fact that currently you can buy a slightly better performing 850 EVO for cheaper. So in this case, unless you're buying this drive for looks, maybe better off to hold out for a price drop. So that's about it guys, leave a comment down below letting me know which SSD you are currently running. Also, a PC build is on the horizon for me, so if you want to see me cover that, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, see ya. Today we're going to put together a gaming PC for around 1200 bucks. This kind of area in terms of PC gaming is uh, kind of the sweet spot.